Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving percentage using appropriate strategies and tools. Let's define first what is a routine and non-routine problem. When we say routine problem, it is a type of problem in which there is an immediate solution. While non-routine problem, it is a problem that requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. Our first problem is an example of routine problem. There are 4,700 pupils of San Miguel Elementary School. 10% of them are enrolled in the Online Distance Learning or ODL and the rest are in the Modular Distance Learning or MDL. How many pupils are enrolled in the Online Distance Learning or ODL? To answer this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First is we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the number of pupils in the online distance learning. Second, we should know what are the given facts. In this problem, the given are 4,700 pupils and 10% are enrolled in the ODL or online distance learning. After we understand the problem, we know already what is asked, what are the given facts. Next is we're going to formulate a plan. What strategy can you use to solve the problem? So in this problem, we're going to solve for the percentage. What is the formula in finding the percentage? The formula in finding the percentage is percentage is equal to rate times base. Since we have already a plan, then let's carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to solve for the percentage. Percentage is a known. Rate is equal to 10% or 1 tenth. Always remember that you should change percent to decimal. How to change percent to decimal? By just moving the decimal point from the right, going to the left, to decimal places. Then you can put the decimal point at the left of the number. Then you can omit zero and the percent sign. Therefore, 10% is equal to 1 tenth. And the base is equal to 4,700. We're going to substitute the value of rate and base into our formula. So 1 tenth times 4,700. Let's multiply. 4,700 times 1 tenth. So, 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 7 is equal to 7. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Then, we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. We only have one decimal place, so we can cancel one zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 470. This is the number of ODL pupils. The last step is we're going to look back or check to know if our answer is correct or not. This time we're going to solve for the base. As we all know that, the base is equal to 4,700. We're going to use this formula. Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Then, Let's substitute the value of percentage and rate into our formula. So, 470 divided by 1 tenth. Let's divide 470 divided by 1 tenth. First is we're going to make our divisor a whole number. How? By just moving the decimal point to the rightmost of the number. So, we move one decimal place. And we're going to move one decimal place also into our dividend. There's no digit here, so we can put zero as our placeholder. Then let's divide 
4 divided by 1, the answer is equal to 4. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Bring down 7. 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Then, we're going to bring up two zeros into our quotient. Therefore, the base is equal to 4,700. Our answer is correct. Our next problem is an example of non-routine problem. If Alexa scored 80% on a 40-point math test, how many points did she miss? To answer this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First is we're going to understand the problem. What is asked? In this problem, it is asking for the number of points she missed. What are the given facts? The given facts in this problem are 40-point math test and 80%. What is the hidden question? The hidden question in this problem is what is the percent of the missed points? We understand already the problem. Next is we're going to make a plan. What strategy can you use to solve the problem? So in this problem, we're going to solve for the percentage of the missed point. What is the formula how to find the percentage? The formula in finding the percentage is percentage is equal to rate times base. We have already a plan, so let's carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to solve for the percentage of the missed point. Percentage is a known. If Alexa scored 80% on a 40-point math test, how many points did she miss? This means that 80% is the rate of the correct answer. So, what is the percent of the missed points? To know the percent of the missed points, we're going to subtract 100% by 80%. So, the answer is 20%. Therefore, we're going to use 20% as the rate of the missed points. Then, we're going to change 20% to decimal that is equal to 2 tenths. The base is equal to 40. Then we're going to use this formula. Percentage is equal to rate times base. And let's substitute the value of rate and base into our formula. So, 2 tenths times 40. Let's multiply. 40 times 2 tenths. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then we're going to count the decimal places into our factors. We only have one decimal place, so we can cancel to one zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 8. This is the number of missed points of Alexa in a 40-point math test. The last step is we're going to look back or check to know if our answer is correct or not. We're going to solve for the percentage of the correct answer. The rate is equal to 80% or 8 tenths and the base is 40. What is 80% of 40? This time, we're going to get the percentage mentally. To know the percentage mentally, we're going to omit 0 and the percent sign and we're going to cancel 0 also in 40. Next is we're going to multiply 8 and 4. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Therefore, 80% of 40 is equal to 32. This is the correct answer of Alexa. As we all know a while ago that she got 8 points missed. 32 plus 8 is equal to 40. This is the number of items in the test of Alexa. Therefore, our answer is correct. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.